Hello, this is Mrs. Chavez. I'm your uh, AP Human Geography teacher for this year. This is the two semester course and today we're starting with chapter one. Chapter one is broken down into three sections and um, you will find your uh, scripted notes in OneNote. So take some time to take a look and see so you can find them so you can take notes on this. Uh, your notes are graded so I expect you to be as thorough as possible. So let's get started. We're introducing some background information um, about human geography. Geographers gather their data and get their ideas from many different places. Field work is often how geographers obtain their data. Field-based skills are the ability to gather, assemble, analyze data that may affirm alter or contradict conventional wisdom in that field. Observation goes beyond simply just reading and understanding the observation of others. Um, familiarity with and the ability to manipulate and interpret GIS, that's the Global Information System. Um, familiarity with GPS, um, you all know what GPS is. If you have a cell phone, um, you navigate around with the um, Google Maps. Um, it's the ability to use remote sensing cartography and computer mapping, competence in data analysis and problem solving, um, curiosity about why objects are where, they're, where they are, the desire to see the world through a ge geographer's eye. Those are all the different ways of looking at um, AP Human Geography. Probably one of the most important parts of human geography is the way that we look at things, our perspective, the spatial perspective. The way that geographers look at the world is different from that of other scientists, and geographers are scientists. Geography is considered a spatial science. It's concerned with the spatial behavior of people, with the spatial relationships that are observed between places on Earth's surface and with the spatial processes that create or, main, or maintain those behaviors and relationships. Geographers are concerned um, about the intersections between space and um, place. Most people, when they think of geography, um, they think about memorizing capitals and rivers and mountains and states or coloring maps. And sadly, this is how geography is taught too often in K-12 schools. In reality, geography is one of the most high-tech scientific disciplines in the science community. Geography is the scientific study of the Earth, and it's one of the original disciplines along with philosophy in trying to understand the world that we as humans live in. It's two subcategories, physical geography and cultural human geography, which allows geographers um, the scientific credibility to look at cultural issues of economics, demographics, culture itself, language, religion, urban planning, politics. It also allows geographers to focus on climate, um, climate change, biogeography, geomorphology, or environmental issues of pollution, um, desertification, deforestation, or even species extinction. This unique ability also allows geographic scientists to study how the cultural environment influences the physical environment and vice versa. So geography is a physical science and a social science, but also has the academic credibility to study the interaction between the two. So in AP Human Geography, what we do is we have we study the um, subfields. And the subfields of human geography are um, what we're going to be starting with, first of all, would be the cultural, and then comes population geography, um, then comes um, let's see, economic geography, uh, urban geography, where we study cities and suburbs, things like that. The um, medical geography we're going to touch on, but we're not going to go in depth into it, okay? Um, we are going to talk about um, the governments, local governments and nations, and how power is distributed, and borders and boundaries. Um, and it, within that, we will look at the medical and the geography of sports and social geography. So, and agricultural geography, that's a very big one. That'll come out in the second semester. So, that's about 
it for the subfields of geography. The early history of geography goes all the way back to the ancient Greeks and to the ancient Chinese. In the river valleys of Huanghe in China um, and in the Middle East, it's the Tigris Euphrates um, in Mesopotamia and Egypt. All of these different areas um, created maps. The Greeks and the Romans were the first to actually formalize the study of geography, but everybody was creating maps that was traveling. Um, if you ever read Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, they are very geographic in nature. They point to the Greek world with great interest and include maps. Aristotle was a Greek who was very um, a keen observer of the earth and its features and how they influence human behavior. And Aristosthenes was the first to calculate the circumference of the earth, and he did it very well. Ptolemy was a Greek who wrote a summary of current geographic knowledge. The ancient history, the modern history of, ge of geography starts around the 14th and 15th century um, with um, Gerardus Mercator creating the first world map. It's called the Mercator map. And this was um, for sailors, basically. Uh, Columbus used it to travel across the ocean. And it's still actually widely used today. In the late 18th century, we have Alexander von Humboldt, and he traveled and studied plants and geography and created some very detailed maps and records of the Americas. In the early 19th century, um, we have European geographers who established their geographical societies. Um, they started marking the birth of formal academic discipline. From 1889 to 1975, Carl Saar expanded the focus of geography beyond physical traits of the earth to include human activities. And that is really the basis for the beginning of AP Human Geography. Geographers study the spatial distribution of nearly everything to explain what people eat and why they migrate and where they migrate to and how they even vote. And that's what we're going to be looking at in this course.